I think on the whole, it sends like a message of like, let's keep doing what we're doing. And, and you know, we want to get you back in the theater. So that's what we want to do. More good news for Chicagoans and those who love to visit. Live performances are coming back. Elizabeth Matthews live for us with more. Elizabeth. Corey and Don, it's live television. Look, it's like a big theatrical reveal. The CTA bus just getting in our way there. That's right, festivals, markets, concerts, stuff in Grant Park, Millennium Park, all given the green light today by Chicago's Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Now, the theater industry was one of the first to be shut down last year, one of the first to open this year, but still with restrictions in place. Our arts and culture community is not a nicety. Mayor Lori Lightfoot making the announcement inside of the Goodman Theater, where they'll restart in-person plays in August. Steppenwolf Theater will welcome back guests in November. Today's like another milestone of hope, so let's, let's keep it going. Open culture is the next phase of the city's reopening plan and allows concerts, farmers markets and festivals to welcome the public. But there will be changes. All the events in Millennium Park will require a reservation um, and we are still working with actual uh, capacity figures. At some events, you may see vaccine clinics, the city making doses easily accessible. We'll probably be using Johnson & Johnson for the obvious reasons. It's a one shot. And further incentive to sign up for a dose. The city is launching the Protect Chicago Music Series. Concerts just for those fully vaccinated, with the first one scheduled later this month in Hyde Park. I don't think they're ready. I know they're ready. Steppenwolf's associate artistic director says they can't wait to welcome patrons back to their brand new In the Round Theater. And it seems the public is excited too. We just announced our season and we have broken uh, our previous record for most sales in the, the, the amount of time it was on sale. Now, just a few events to go over. The Old Town Art Fair is set for June 12th, the Grand Park Music Festival, July 2nd, and the Division Street Market is coming back on May 15th, but the city has about 350 events so far that they've added. Now, the mayor was asked today about the Air and Water Show, and unfortunately, the mayor said she did not give any sort of definitive answer. Not a yes, but not a no. Guys, back to you in the studio. All right, Elizabeth, I like how the CTA bus played along there. Very nice. <laughs> Elizabeth Matthews live for us tonight. Let's take a live look.